Hey everyone, it is Crystal Marshall from Virginia Photos and Films. We're going to talk about Instagram today. So, if you are not using Instagram effectively, these are my favorite tips and tricks of how to rock it on Instagram, okay? So, this is my Instagram, if you haven't been to it. Um, we're going to talk about the anatomy of a good Instagram page, okay? So, first of all... Um, you're going to want to have a really good 20 or so words on the top to really capture people. Um, you're going to want it to be something that they're going to be like, okay, I know exactly what they do. It's not a bunch of emojis. It's not um, really vague. It is, this is what I do. This is how I can better serve you. Okay. Then you're going to want to put a link. Now, let me just show you where my link goes. Now, you can you can have one link on Instagram. Now, you can hyperlink to other Instagram accounts like I have I have uh, four Instagram accounts for my business, different um different brands for different things, but um you're allowed one link. So, I if you have a website, you can build a page that's specifically for people on Instagram. For example, um you're taken to my main website. And you can find like, hey, this is looking for something, see more. Looking for our latest couple, see more. Look at our photo booth, see more. Contact us, see our latest whatever. So that is what I've, every time that I have a, a latest blog post or latest um, helpful information or whatever, I put it on this link. Mine is called virginiaphotosandfilms.com slash Instagram. You can make it pretty much anything you want it uh link wise to say if you do not have a if you do not have a website you can use something called linktree um there's a lot of other sites that make landing pages you can make something through adobe for free if you're an adobe user um but just make a landing page for your work um so people can easily go to it and click on an image okay so let's talk about these little guys right here these are called highlights Okay, so you can um, add a highlight, find something that you like. I'm going to talk about uh, my latest wedding. Next, you can edit a cover, and how you get the cover is by making, I use Adobe Spark Post. You can also get to go to Canva, and you can create something like this. Let me see if I can find it. something like this. So basically having an icon, replacing it with something that you like, changing the color that's your branding colors. If you do not have branding colors, shame on you. You need to have branding colors um, so people can recognize who you are, okay? So that's how you add a highlight button. How does it work? For example, here, click on the paper airplane, add post to your story, send to a folder. These are great for telling people, hey, look at my latest work, and they can click on something. Let me show you. So let's go to the photo booth tab. These are all my photo booth things. So if you want to hire me for a photo booth, you can just flip through my latest stuff for the photo booth, okay? So that's pretty cool. Let's go to another one, studio work. So if you want to see me work in my studio, boom. So people can easily know what your studio is about, how you do it, setups, all that stuff. Okay? Um, so that's the highlight reel. Okay, so let's look at the actual feed. Well, just kidding. Let's not look at the actual feed. Let's talk about why would you need highlights and why would you need a feed. Okay? So you need highlights because different people are going to be on different things. It attracts different people. The highlights people are for people that are going to um, look for you know, stories of people and flipping through and all sorts of stuff, okay? These are great for people that are just really quick. They want 15 seconds of what you do, a little behind the scenes of your life. Now, the grid people, people that want to go to the grid are, are probably going to be the people that are going to be most likely want to invest in you. Maybe they find you through a hashtag or they find you through a location, a geotag. What does it call a geotag right here? Um... So they find you through that, which is a little bit harder to just randomly stump, stumble upon you. These are people that are a little bit more proactive, really want to find followers. 
Um, so different people to each its own. I've gotten some people that have stumbled upon me with a story and some people stumble upon me with the grid. Okay, so let's talk about the grid. As you can see, my colors are pink and blue. I have them sprinkled throughout the feed. Um, I try not to go beyond that. As you can see, I wasn't doing the color creation here and it was just a little too all over the place for my liking, so I like to keep it very simple and very minimal, okay? So as when I do a graphic, I make sure that it falls within my color grid. Um, let's click on a post. All right, so it doesn't have to be a really, really long caption. It can be a paragraph or two, it doesn't matter, or a sentence. I usually do just a sentence or two. Then I have everything about me. Contact me here for any corporate media. Here's my website. And then you can have up to 30 hashtags. Okay, so let's talk about hashtags. Um, I've never seen where people are like, oh my gosh, like I'm going to hire you through this hashtag. It's just more of a way for people, more people to find you. It's just some more people, like if they're searching for Hampton Roads, Virginia, logo design, um, all of those things. So they're going to find you through that. Now, I like to mix my hashtags with um, location like Chesapeake, HRVA, 757 with other generic hashtags like website. That's going to be from all over the world. Website designer, again, all over the world. Now my clients are going to come from Chesapeake, 757 Creative, 757, all that stuff. But just people that want to follow me and like me are going to be the generic stuff. Okay? So hopefully that helps you to know um, just a little bit about starting on Instagram. Who's on Instagram? Let's talk about that. Young people under the age of 25 are on Instagram. So if you have a demographic for people that are in that age bracket, under 30 are on Instagram. They're not on Facebook pretty much at all, okay? Um, everybody over 30, 35 are gonna be on Facebook. Um, people that starting to get families and want to connect with their loved ones and want to connect with their grandma and their grandpa, they're on Facebook. Personally for me, I find most of my clients through Facebook because there are people at my church where the average age is 45, which is fine because I get a lot of weddings and I get a lot of seniors, which I'm fine with that. Now, people that hire me through my marketing and my logo design company, which is here, Virginia Marketing and Media. Um, they hire me through Instagram, okay? I get a bunch of messages. Here's some messages I need to uh, look through here. Uh, she, I just did a consult with her. So there's a lot of people that find me through different ways. Um, again, this is my logo design, um, media, marketing, websites, the, that kind of deal, okay? Um, again, the highlight reel is rainbow because my colors are rainbow. So that's kind of cool. And you're going to see the rainbow throughout the feed. Because, again, that's my branding. That all goes back to branding and color and rec being recognizable. This is my other one, being marketing genius. Again, color scheme is green and black. So a lot of the thing, I'm going to be very particular about what I post. Um, this is not one of my particular companies that I own, but this is another company that I manage. And their colors are, you guessed it, red, black, and I just threw in yellow in there because on when I just did red and black here, it just, it looked too plain. So I try to stick with a pattern, try to throw that yellow in there just to kind of change up the grid a little bit. Um, but anyway, those are my favorite Instagram tips and tricks. And um, follow me at Virginia Photos and Films if you want to connect. I would love to answer any questions that you have. You can also follow me at B Marketing Genius and Virginia Marketing and Media if you're interested on other things that I do. Peace out.